Hello, Commodore Bob here with a vintage computer review. This is the Commodore VIC-20 home computer released by Commodore International in 1981. The second computer in their line of computers that Commodore made. This was released after the Commodore PET, which was only a monochrome computer that only had basic and a very few limited applications. So let's just go dive into this here and I will pop the hood on this thing and show the hardware. All right, I have taken the cover off and here's the summary of the hardware. We have the MOS, it's, the camera will focus there, I don't think it will, but if you can possibly read that, that is the MOS 6502 processor running at 1 megahertz. We have 5K of RAM over here, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I suspect this in here to be the MOS 6560 VIC chip, or video interface chip, which is what the machine is named after. But, anyway, this computer um, was one of the first computers to, to be able to display 16 colors on this on the screen. Of course not at once, but it could display 16 colors. Now I will get the cover back on this and we will start it up and look at some software. Alright, I am back and we're just about ready to start this up. I got the cassette deck out here. Um, I believe this is, you can go read the information off of that. Yeah, I believe that this is the Model B, which I am correct, it is. So, I have a cartridge, Tooth Invaders, which is just hilarious, I mean, like, who would make a game like this? I don't know, but we're going to play all of these, and this cassette tape here, which has a sound demo, piano, heads, which I hadn't tested that out yet, and reaction. Uh, these are all just little fun pieces of software written in BASIC, and this is from the introduction to basic part one box that I um, acquired when I got this machine so first I'm going to turn the TV on here and there is some buzzing when this thing starts up um, it is the TV it's not the computer itself there we go um, now, now you just have to wait for the uh, RF modulator to warm up there, and the colors will change slowly. I can get that to stop happening there. There we go. It takes a little bit for the RF modulator to warm up, but anyway, I will go ahead and load a cassette tape. There we go. We just could type in load here into the basic interpreter and oh wait, we got to press Turn and let press play on tape. 
if it does not slide off. There we go. And now we will wait. I am loading just a simple uh, quiz program. I will show some of the other stuff before the end of this video, which does take a good bit to load. So I will pause the video for most of the other software. As you see, Unit Quiz 12, or Unit 12 Quiz, as you can see there. I must say, uh, this machine is in wonderful condition. Um, the only problem is that it's a little bit yellowed. It is supposed to be completely white, but most computers go through that over time. But, yeah, I guess I'll just pause the video until it's done. Okay, now this is the next program that we're going to load. Sound Demo. Now this is really interesting because this really shows the uh, sound capabilities of the Commodore VIC-20. Which is not much, but at that time, it was one of the best. Um, so, soon this should be ready. Okay, there we go. There we go, and the... TV doesn't like it apparently, so we can do scale organ, scale piano, scale flute, gunfire, explosion, bird singing, yeah, well, well let's just go play all of them. First we're going to do the scale organ. Next, piano. I want to turn the volume up here a little bit. Oh gosh, that does not sound good, but okay. Probably need to get my uh, self a new TV. Scale organ. Gunfire. which is absolutely pitiful and then E explosion um, F bird singing G is wolf whistle that some of these some of these sounds are just hilarious. H is running feet. Oh, now these are my personal favorite. UFO attack. UFO landing. And UFO departure. And then we have blowtorch and a dentist drill. Which All are right. right. Now we'll run piano. Well, and as you see. We go hit these keys, it is running in the background. Well, that's not that interesting, but the this was not a game machine. This is a computer. So there has to be some business applications, right? So I will show you the word processor for this machine in just a second. Okay, now I have just inserted a new cassette tape and right now it is loading Vic Typewriter Word Processor. Um, it's just 
probably as simple as you can get. Um, I mean, like, and there's not any fancy interface for this. It's just, well, you'll see what I'm meaning in a second. I mean, like, it is pretty much as minimalistic as you can get. Well, while that's loading, actually, well, okay, it's done, I guess. And, as I said, as minimalistic as you can get. Very, very minimal. I mean, like, of course, you can do everything that you could do with a normal word processor. Well, not really, but you can type things and print them if you have a printer. Alright. Oops. I'm trying to type with just one hand here, so... Vic 20. Alright, well, now it's time to move on to the best part. The games. Alright, I have the game cartridge in the Vic 20, which is a rather large cartridge, as you can see from comparison to the VHS tape drive down there. Well, well, the best thing about gaming on the Commodore VIC-20, in my opinion, is the compatibility with Atari joysticks and paddles. It uses the same connector as the Atari joysticks and paddles. So, if you have acquired one of these machines, or already have one, you can use your Atari joystick or paddle to play the games. Alright, there we go, that's in. Well, luckily for me, when I got this machine, I also got a Commodore joystick. And let's proceed with the games. Turn it on. play some games. Oh, wait. I gotta go restart that. I didn't have enough time to select my level here. I'm gonna go select level one. This game, very simplistic. Basically, what, what you have to do here is run over plaque uh, with your toothbrush. And again, trying to play this with one hand is not easy. And if you get too many uh, plaque pieces on one teeth, or one tooth, I mean, oh yeah, that happens, this happens if you clean your teeth. I mean, like, imagine if that happened if you cleaned and your teeth in real life. That would be awesome. But anyway, um, if too much plaque gets on one tooth by this guy over here, which is the, um, I don't know what he's supposed to be called, but he basically runs around dirtying around teeth, and, and if you run into him, you die. And I will demonstrate that in just a second. Wait. I think I just killed him. Oh yeah, I don't even know how you kill him, but I just like randomly do it. I think it's when the song plays, and and you see you press the fire button for uh, Floss here, but I will show you me dying. Yes, this red lollipop thing brings me up above into the sky yeah, and I have no clue what that is but hope you enjoyed uh, please comment 